Also new at five, something officials do think could impact our military, and that is offshore drilling. We told you when the White House announced plans to drastically expand drilling off the Virginia and North Carolina coast, state officials, including Governor Ralph Northam, have already opposed the plan. 13 News Now military reporter Mike Gooding tells us why federal leaders also oppose the expansion. Well, David, Virginia's two U.S. senators worry that drilling in the region would overall create unnecessary risks, especially when it comes to military assets and training. And Mark Warner and Tim Kane are now expressing those concerns to Defense Secretary James Mattis. The idea of oil rigs out in the very waters where the Navy conducts critical pre-deployment training is worrisome, according to Virginia Senators Mark Warner and Tim Kaine. The red is where the Trump administration proposes to allow oil and gas drilling. 72% of that area is exactly where a 2015 Pentagon assessment said there should be no oil and gas activity. The senators have now sent a letter to Secretary of Defense James Mattis. They write, we are concerned that allowing offshore drilling in this area would create new challenges for the region's DOD installations and the activities taking place on and around these waters. This is a long-standing issue. DOD has been consistently opposed to drilling in its training ranges. Retired Navy Captain Joe Bouchard is a former commanding officer of Naval Station Norfolk and he was CO of a destroyer. The Navy and the other services also train with live ordnance out there. A variety of missiles, bombs, automatic weapons, and it would be very dangerous to have oil rigs in the vicinity of that live ordnance training. Warner and Kane also talk about the threat of offshore drilling on the environment and on tourism, and they're calling on President Trump to listen to local voices in Virginia and exempt the Commonwealth from this proposal. Reporting live, Mike Gooding, 13 News Now.